Good morning, ASM. Today is Monday, March 22nd. This morning was a little excited because at about 8.10, the fire alarm went off, forcing everyone to have to evacuate the building. After the Manoa Fire Department arrived, they determined that the cause was a faulty water valve that is connected to the fire suppression system. What other news do we have in this headline? This weekend, the first New York State resident tested positive for the Brazilian COVID-19 variant. The patient is a Brooklyn resident in their 90s and has had no recent travel history. The health department is working with the hospital and the patient to track how, track how the patient contracted the variant. In Miami Beach, Florida, local officials set a curfew in place to try and limit the out-of-control spring break crowds. City commissioners put a curfew from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. with the exception of food delivery services. This rule began Saturday after a 72-hour state of emergency was declared, but the restrictions will be in place until the end of the month, but possibly could extend into mid-April. Officials believe the crowds are due to the people traveling to Florida because of their relaxed COVID restrictions. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Mr. Avellino here to talk about professionalism. That is how you look. Are you dressed appropriately? Are you to class on time? If you're remote, are you on time with your computer? Is your computer charged? The most important pieces about being professionalism is that you act it, you look it, and most importantly, you have to be a professionalism because that is what this world is all about. Have a great day. Remember professionalism, the first letter in pride. Today we'll see a bit more of a breeze under more sunshine and even warmer temperatures than we saw yesterday with highs well into the 60s. Uh, tonight will be clear skies and not quite as cold as it got last night with um, a low within a few degrees of 35. Tomorrow we'll see more sunshine and those warm temperatures will be continuing with highs well into the 60s and even reaching 70. Wednesday will be breezy and once again warm with um, a slight chance for a shower or two under interval, intervals of sun and highs well into the 60s once again. Thursday still looks mainly dry with more intervals of sun but with more clouds than we've been seeing these past few days and a high near 70. Friday will be breezy and it'll still be warm, but there's gonna be a lot more rain showers possible. We might even see a few thunderstorms here and there with highs well into the 60s. Saturday is going to be cooler with some sun and highs in the low 50s. And Sunday, we'll see a, um, another chance for rain showers and highs in the low 50s. And I'm Allie with your weather. With spring break next week, let's take a look at some fun COVID safe things to do around Syracuse. You can go to Movie Tavern and you can rent seats ahead of time. Or you can go to Wonderworks and do the ropes course or the other activities they have. There's Pratt's Falls. There's Chittenango Falls. Oh, there's the Rosamond Gifford Zoo, which has both indoor and outdoor exhibits. You can go to the Erie Canal Barge. Or you can go go-karting with some of your friends. Or some of the science geeks in here like me will love going to the most and looking at all the things they have to do. There's also, of course, Green Lakes, which is right around the corner from us. What's up? The Syracuse men's basketball team won in both round 64 and round 32 of the NCAA tournament. Uh, Buddy Buckets Bayheim <laughs> led the team um, in overall points. Uh, they beat Oh, who was it? San Diego State um, in the round in the 64th round, and then they beat West Virginia in the 32nd round. They'll be advancing to the Sweet 16. And the women's basketball team beat South Dakota State uh, 72 to 55. In NFL news, former Lions star wide receiver Kenny Galladay signed a four-year contract worth $72 million for the New York Giants. I'm John, Lily Sports. Now from everyone at the morning show, please have a great day.